it's me Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel Way Crunchy, the This Old Shuck series. My partner and I bought an extreme fixer upper for $20,000 cash, so we're not gonna have to pay rent or mortgage, fingers crossed, ever again. It's a beautiful day. I just, I am feeling so vigorous and excited and just, just, full of magic and energy and hope and optimism we are we're on the home stretch getting this house ready for us to move in and i just can't believe it and i'm so happy action boom shaka For me, it's onward to finishing up the children's room. Now, then the ceilings and the walls will be complete, and then it'll be time for me to clean and paint the floor. Yeah, yeah. Been done, gone round and round and round and round and round, round, touching up that trim. So part of this fixer upper stuff is phone calls, phone calls, phone calls, notes, 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 organization, organization, organization. I keep all of my stuff organized on paper and in a binder and I keep all my receipts taped in there and um, clipboard. But you know, some people do it on a computer. If that's how your brain works, that's great. On your phone, you know, any kind of organizational app or Excel or pencil and paper. <laughs> um, so this morning I um, was trying to get in contact with a plumber. I'm like, that's my friend. It turns out, what a, you know, you know, you know, I don't have that many IRL friends. And one of my only IRL friends is actually doing the scheduling for the plumber and working with him. And I was like, oh, wow, yeah, let's organize that. Uh, so that was serendipitous to the max and um, unexpected. So yeah, so I should be getting on with a plumber this week and onward. Update my expense notebook. John and I split all expenses 50-50 um, and all that jazz. Continuing with my morning secretarial project management jazz, not just painting walls all the time. I got another appointment later this week with a window man. And then hopefully tomorrow the electrician comes back and then I'll have to schedule an inspection of that with the county. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I'm gonna meet the electrician this morning, up bright and early. It's, I don't know, between eight and nine right now. And um, yeah, we're gonna get what needs to be done to call back the inspector, hopefully by the end of today. And um, yeah, time to think about our light fixtures and whatnot. Power is upon us. Electricity is upon us. We are stepping 
into the modern age. So I've got one really cool light here. Um, there's gonna be two places that I do kind of an industrial look. So this jazz. Places that this kind of an industrial thing will go is under the stairs going down to the basement. Where I want to put this one, it's the kids room closet. But look, the box is bigger than this is. What do I do about that? All right, so this one is gonna go in the kids room closet. How cute is this looking by the way? And I think I can just do the patch around it. This will be fine. So over here in the kitchen, I'm gonna do a light fixture over the table to like define out the dining area. But it's still got crazy tall ceilings in here. So I think you don't really want anything coming down more than like 20 inches. So fonts, so look at the options that I've saved for these light fixtures and just kind of see what I can do with 20 inches. This is one I got for $5 at the Habitat Restore. I honestly think it looks so chic and good. The white, the white, white the solid white is really good it really matches the trim in here a little blue industrial in the closet a little black and white out here but the only thing is is the ceiling is so low here in the kids room so i wonder do i just want an absolute little flat led flush up against the ceiling i think john's gonna hit his head on this let me get my tape measure let's see let's see the ceiling height in here in here. Now let's see, six foot ten, remember that. Now let's see the light picture. What is that? Eight. So John is like six one. And ten. <laughs> This will be six piece and a half on one inch clearance. Honestly, that kind of works So It just looks so good in here and it was only $5. And six two and up, watch out. But six one should be just fine. Now these big ones I got for $7 a piece and that's gonna be John's office. So let's take those down there. So this ceiling still needs to be painted, but one up here, one over there. Like, this isn't, like, super chic, but uh, I think it'll look good. And it'll really come together once we, like, get this room polished. So 
this is the current state of our box here. Set ourselves up here for a before and after picture, hopefully today. Well, my electrician's late, but in the meantime, I made myself a little step for this hill. I mean, it is steep like a mountain goat to climb this. So I can stand there and then garden from that rock platform. And then step right here, and then step right here. So, yeah, now I can garden this area. It's gonna be a fun little thing. Little rock garden, little hill garden. So right now I'm at home and I'm showing John light fixtures. We gotta order light fixtures. Now I gotta tell y'all something about light fixtures. That is what's gonna make your house look high end. If you're gonna spend money on anything, it needs to be light fixtures. I get all my furniture from the Habitat for Humanity and the Goodwill. But if you got nice light fixtures on the ceiling, you know, it's like a piece of sculpture, a piece of art, a signature. When a person comes in, they're like, oh, this is a, a professionally decorated house. This is a nice house. Look at those light fixtures. That's what you spend your money on. And then you don't buy a $1,000 couch. You buy a $60 couch from the Habitat Restore like we did. Um, for lesser important rooms, you buy the $5 light fixture from the Restore, the $7 light fixture. But if you've got bold statement pieces of beautiful light fixtures, then the whole house looks expensive. And the house costs twenty thousand dollars, so we need something to make it a little more expensive looking. Are you, are you gonna film? John has sticker shock. <laughs> John, what did you think a chandelier would cost? How are you filming me? Yeah. I guess like twenty dollars, maybe like a bag of wheat. Well, I mean, for a chandelier, I'm trying to pay like a hundred dollars. A Benjamin, oh, Lord. which is cheap, but it's why it's not. Why don't we just hang a candle from the ceiling? Yeah. From solutions oriented. But what about the fire hazard? Mm, that's a good point. <sighs> Strobe light. So you always haven't right much sticker shock over how much I wanted to spend on light fixtures, which is the only thing I wanted to go high end in. So I found a compromise. I went and picked this up from the ReStore, $5, another $5 fixture. But I think it might look really great if I paint the gold black. So that's a compromise. And it stays true to my old way crunchy ways, doing something for nothing. And then I got one more. So replacing the outdoor porch light that I had on my list of things I wanted to purchase with this secondhand one that I got for $5. So I have, this is a acrylic latex, indoor, outdoor, soap and water cleanup, metal wood and more. It's essentially Rust-Oleum, but the Krylon. So that's black. Get that old white stuff off of this guy all the gold black here and I think we should be looking totally awesome actually This one's gonna need two coats. Y'all, I think I done spoiled that man with all my garbage finds and my $5 finds and all my craftiness. Okay. 
coming along. Today, uh, the lights. John was very surprised at how much money I wanted to spend on lights. I wasn't that surprised. A little bit? No, you showed me some of them. Yeah. So later today, I was like, oh man, John don't want to spend all that money on those lights. Maybe I can bring them around. And so I went back to the Habitat Restore and I got two more lights. So I got a uh, outdoor light for the front porch for $5. And then I got another kind of cute one. I mean, both of them needed me to fix on them, you know, to make them look stylish. But, uh, stylish and clean. What did, did you like that? Mm -hmm. I did that so that you would like it. Um, so, do you think we'll get the nice light fixtures? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We'll order those? Oh! I'm excited. I didn't know if I was going to bring them you around. Did. I knew oh, we you were always going to bring me around. But I did, but you knocked some off the price by playing hardball because I went and bought two more $5 ones. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see y'all next time.